Mr. Speaker, last week the health minister uh, went into a wacko rant accusing parents who take their kids on a road trip of, ro of locking them up in a car for 10 days straight without a washroom break, causing the whole world to burn. Unbelievable. All because we proposed that the government take taxes off gas so that Canadians could have a summer break. Will this health minister break into the same hysteria over his boss's use of a gas-guzzling private jet to vacation all around the world. The Honourable Minister of Health. Mr. Speaker, uh, we face an existential crisis in climate change. The Conservative solution? Uh, you'd have to drive. I was wrong, and I admit it. It wasn't 37,000 kilometers. It was 44,000 kilometers to get the benefit that they're talking about. And what they want to do is cut not only dental care, not only cut child care, not only cut pharma care, but end our climate action and return to the days when the Conservative Party would go into climate conferences and attack the action the world was taking to save our planet. I will stand for climate change, and so will this party. Party, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, his wacko math gets even worse. He's talking about vacations of 44,000 kilometers. Those are the vacations his, his boss takes in a taxpayer-funded, fuel-guzzling private jet. The vacations for which Conservatives want to give Canadians a break is to a local campground where they can support the local economy. We know Canadians can't go abroad. All they can do is get in their small vehicle and have a small break. Why won't the government take the tax off so that they can afford to do that? The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Mr. Speaker, it seems that we have, in fact, underestimated the wacko math of the Conservative Party of Canada. According to Sarah Hastings Simon, an associate professor at the University of Calgary of Faculty of Science, and she crunched the numbers, the, the alleged numbers of the Conservative Party based on the, the savings, and her her calculation, someone would have to drive 44,000 kilometers, not 37,000 kilometers, Mr. Speaker. 44. So you could, in fact, drive from the North Pole to the South Pole. that these people are doing, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker, if that particular minister had his way, Canadians wouldn't even be allowed to drive to the grocery store because he wants to abolish roads. He says we should not fund any more roads and then has the audacity to call other people wacko. Most Canadians don't want to put on an orange jumpsuit or climb a building. They just want to take their kids for a merciful break from this miserable, broken economy. So will the government accept our common sense plan to take the tax off gas and diesel so Canadians can have a summer? The Honourable Minister for the Environment and Climate Change. Speaker, you can't, in fact, drive from the, the North Pole to the South Pole. There are no roads. I'm sure they'll find ways to blame me for that. <laughs> Le leave alone the fact that there are two oceans. But if you were to drive from Canada's most northern city, ac accessible by road, Tuktoyaktuk, in the Northwest Territories, and then you drove to the most southern city, accessible by, by road, Tierra, Tierra del Fuego, in Argentina, you would have to drive 16,000 kilometers at an average speed of 100 kilometers an hour without stopping. It would be 160 hours, Mr. Speaker, and you're only halfway to the savings claimed by the Conservative Party of Canada. The Honourable Member from Peterborough, Kawartha. The level of hypocrisy on that side of the House is nothing short of astonishing. The Prime Minister is literally jet-setting around the world on his gas-fueled jet. And the health minister says, you know what, kids, you can't go on a family trip because it will cause the planet to burn. We have the simplest common sense motion right now that will save Ontario families $592. That might mean nothing to them, but it means a lot. So will they listen, have some compassion, and axe the tax so families can make memories and enjoy their time together? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Climate Change.
climate change. Except that the savings that the Conservative Party of Canada is claiming are simply not true, Mr. Speaker. Let me let me quote Dan McTee, a former Liberal MP but a vocal opponent to our policies and including carbon pricing and no fan of mine, I might add, Mr. Speaker. He said when asked about that proposal from the Conservative Party, he said, and I quote, I'm in the wilderness, Mr. Speaker. He said that there's no way that the savings that they're claiming, and he's, he's at the head of the Canadians for affordable energy, there's no way that the savings that they're claiming are true, one. And number two, it would cost the government billions of dollars to, to, of, of taxpayers' money. So where are they going to cut, Mr. The Honourable Member from Peterborough, Kawartha. Mr. Speaker, nobody believes a word that side of the House says. They have completely lost trust in Canadians. They've caused chaos. They've caused crime. They've caused complete despair. Despair. People are using food banks at the highest record level they've ever used in their life. Nobody believes what they're saying. 35 cents a litre at the pumps? Do you know what that will save? Cost to ship the food. It will allow families to actually feed their families and, most importantly, will take off the stress that is cr creating mental health crises in this country. So while they stand over there and say that, we will fight for this. Will they? Yeah! yeah. The Honourable Minister of Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Mr. Speaker, my honourable colleague led her question saying that nobody believes what anyone in the government has to say. It's not us who's saying it. Mr. Speaker, one of the people who spent tens of thousands of dollars to take Conservative MPs on a junket to London to wine and dine them so they would be his mouthpiece in this chamber is saying that he's lost in the wilderness. Mr. Speaker, there are academics who have studied their proposal, the cost savings they say will accrue to families, that would say you had to go to the North Pole, to the South Pole and back in order to make that a reality. She started her question before Mr. Speaker talking about hypocrisy, I'd remind her once again she votes against the measures that she shows up for the announcements for in her riding. Yes. <laughs> the Honourable Member from Foothills. This NDP Liberal Prime Minister loves to jet set around the world on his luxury vacations, but then stick the taxpayers with the bill. Yep. Meanwhile, the Liberal Health Minister is telling Canadians you cannot take a summer vacation or the planet will burn. This hypocrisy is ridiculous and it's just not true. Conservatives have a common sense plan to axe all federal gas taxes until Labor Day, ensuring that Canadians can take their families on a summer vacation. Will the Liberal NDP Prime Minister stop his hypocrisy, stop his radical policies, yeah. axe attacks so Canadians can take a summer holiday? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Health. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, maybe it's the definition of a family road trip. I mean, for me, a family road trip is a few hundred kilometres. For the Conservatives, it's 44,000 kilometres in order to realise the benefit that they're selling. That's a pretty big difference. But I'll tell you, while they were spending the weekend trying to cut YouTube clips for Instagram or Facebook so that they could try to misrepresent an issue as important as climate change, I can tell you I was talking to the seniors that they want to deny dental care to. I was talking to the people who need pharmacare and of course their focus mr speaker is on not facts but in, in misrepresenting issues mr speaker the honorable member from foothills here's the facts mr speaker i was at a senior's home in clarison this weekend where they're seeing their rent increase five percent to cover the cost of the carbon tax wow. this is forcing right. seniors to make very difficult choices either stay in their home afford food or find other accommodations those are the facts common sense conservatives are putting forward a plan that will save 35 cents a liter for canadians this, this will money. save alberta families 955 dollars this summer Will the out-of-touch Liberals support the common-sense Conservative plan to axe the tax so Canadians can take a well-deserved summer vacation with their family? Yeah. 